Hello and welcome to another Helios short clip, this time for version Helios 30.0, that is, the major release of Helios 2025. This short video is about the viewing options for accompanying documents in Helios. First I would like to thank PBF Fassaden Technic GmbH, who provided us with their active energy building as an example for this video. Today we will take a look at non-CAD formats. I have selected a few here and put them in a project. I will simply show you the various viewing settings that I have chosen. And then we will take a quick look at the respective viewer. Let's start with a zip file. Here I have a document master with a zip file behind it, and in the zip file are two DXF files, in this case, two sheet developments. I have defined the archive viewer for the zip format here in the Helios options. I have not defined anything for the rest. That means this archive viewer is in the graphic tab. And you can see it here on the right. If you select the zip file, you have a direct overview of the contents of the zip file, and can for example also load the DXF file directly from here in your default program, but you can also cut copy, or similar. However, this does not work via the export function of Helios, but these are simply the normal Windows functions with which you can get the corresponding files out of the zip file, because the individual files in the zip file do not have a document master. Next, let's take a look at a PDF file. Here too I will display the default settings. As we can see, for PDF I have set the normal Mozilla PDF viewer in the graphic tab. In my project explorer, I have set the Mozilla PDF viewer with the image display. If I now select the PDF file, I see the complete Mozilla viewer at the top. I can then scroll or zoom in the displayed file. But I can also draw in the PDF, for example, or I could place a text field here. So I have fully integrated all the options that the Mozilla PDF viewer offers into my Helios. At the bottom left, you can see the other preview, where an image is shown. This is the image of the first page of the PDF file, in a fairly high quality and resolution. It is basically like a small preview that you can quickly display. Next, I would like to show you the options regarding URLs. Again, there are different settings for this. For the URL, I have configured the web browser in the graphic tab. Now let's take a look at the whole thing. This means that I can also store various relevant websites for my projects. I've just done this here and can now easily move through the browser on the right, just like in a normal internet browser. Finally, let's take a look at the display of images, using the JPG format as an example. I can show that here briefly. I have chosen a slightly different configuration here. I have defined Windows Explorer as the standard here, and our integrated image viewer in the graphic tab. If you look at the images here, you can see the image viewer at the top. As you can see, I can zoom in and out as I like. I can also freely move around in the image itself. And here at the bottom left is the Windows Explorer preview. This is so to speak a quick preview, where you just see the image but you can't zoom or move it. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for your attention. See you soon.